If you're not a skip, that means that you're probably judging weight while sweeping. That skill to know where a rock is going to end up can be one of the hardest to master. I'm here to share with you a drill that you can do on your own or with a team that can help you develop those skills. The drill is called keep out. And the idea is for the sweepers to try to keep the rock out of the house. The thrower on the other hand wants the rock to end up in the house because then they would get a point. But the sweepers, if they manage to keep the rock out of the house, either short of the rings or through, then they would get a point. So if you're practicing as a team, everybody takes turns throwing. As soon as the thrower releases, then the sweepers need to decide, is that rock light? Is it short of the rings? In that case, they wouldn't sweep. Or is that rock in the rings? In that case, we need to sweep it in order to get it all the way through so that the sweepers can get their point. Now there's a bit of strategy to this game. So the closer to the top of the house the thrower is, the harder it is for the sweepers because they need to either really sweep the heck out of it and pound it all the way through the rings, making, you know, 12 feet possibly of distance or get fully off of it, brooms up and just hope that the rock is going to die down. The second part of this drill is actually practice for the sweepers saying out loud where they think that rock is going to end up. Six. So even if you're leaving the rock short, you still need to practice communicating where that rock is going to stop. So place three cones out on the sheet, one just past the near hog line, one about halfway down the sheet, and the last one at the far hog line. Those spots are at minimum the three spots where you need to be yelling where you think that rock is going to end up. Ideally, you're actually communicating more than that, but we're just gonna start with three. And you don't need to be super precise either. You can start by just saying it's heavy or it's light or weight's good. Honestly, like any communication is, is better than nothing at this point. The last tip that I'm gonna leave with you is that as a sweeper, it's helpful to judge the speed of the rock if you are moving with the rock and the thrower right from the start. Your own body speed is gonna give you additional information to help you judge more accurately. And of course, you're also looking at the release to see if the thrower released it pure or they pushed it or pulled it back. That's all gonna help you try to figure out where that rock is gonna end up. It just takes a lot of practice. To do this drill on your own, simply deliver the stone as a thrower, then get up and slider sweep that rock as a sweeper. But don't attempt this if you don't feel comfortable slider sweeping or getting up quickly after you release. We don't need any accidents out there, so just try to get somebody to come out and practice with you instead. Speaking of practice, get out there and try this keep out drill. Let me know how it goes. And if you have any questions, comment them below. Keep track of your points and try to beat your score every time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Curl Up With Jamie. Don't forget to like and subscribe.